other fields, on other days. That's the primary charge for the cadets of Army. But on this field, the seeds planted by the likes of Davis, Blanchard, and Dawkins certainly have produced victory. Welcome to Mikey Stadium in West Point, home of the Black Knights of the Hudson. Today, two teams get set to square off in an interconference battle in the AAC. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off of bye week, the East Carolina Pirates. Taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Army Black Knights. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis. Join you. Had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Pirates offense will take the first swing of the game. And here's the band they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big game. And he breaks into the open. At the 30. He's at the 10. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Purple Pirates. And these offensive coordinators tell you they want to start fast and they want to establish the run game. That is exactly what you did. First drive, you hand the football off, making the big explosive run, setting the tone for this football game. They'll go to the ground, and they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. Taking down at the 30. Second down. Guys, East Carolina carries the lead into the quarter break. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. On the option. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. And the football bounds across the sidelines. They'll lose a couple. Ooh, offense really lucky there. Ball on the ground. Everybody's trying to make a scramble for it, and it just goes out of bounds. So the offense lucky to maintain possession. They'll keep this drive moving by picking up the first down. They have it at the 36. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. He's looking to throw it. Finds his tight end. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight end is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient most of the time, that drag route's going to come up. And now on second down for this offense. Garcia to pass. Finds a tight end. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. They're down to the 20, first and 10. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the shotgun, they'll run it. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. Little touch pass to the receiver. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke. Not much room to run. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They'll try to get it through the air. Makes the catch. He gets it in. Touchdown, East Carolina. Effective offense leading the way. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that, up two touchdowns. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field there so far. 
And this defense needs to make something happen right now. I mean, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop. Create some momentum for your offense. In the dead center of the field as they try to convert this third and short. Quickly out to the tight end. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. And the Pirates come to the line with a new set of downs. Garcia wants to throw. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. He wants to throw it again. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. How about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocked to really help out the back find some space to go to work? Here on third down. Looking to throw. Finds his target down the middle. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the pass. Pass. Defense. 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 I bet it felt good to hit that quarterback late until you got an earful from the coach and cost your defense 15. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. Wide receiver shows motion. Looking to go up top on first down. Pressure all over the quarterback and down he goes at the 24. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got it! They will score! Touchdown, ECU! They are seizing control. That's how we'll finish this half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in West Point for an entertaining first half than you? And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the guys along the banks of the Hudson inside venerable Mikey Stadium. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job of taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. Looking downfield, it's Daly. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. They'll run the option. Fights off a defender. Picks up the first down. Nice job to keep it himself. Find the first down marker and move the change for this offense. They'll throw it on first down. It's complete to the right. And that will go backwards. A negative play, and that defense on high alert that time. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. And the Black Knights moving quickly to the line. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. The short hands, it's short. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. Line gets set, first down. They want that clock to run. 
They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Fresh legs, man, and it is showing, of course. This team had the bye last week, and you're seeing it right now late in the game, running the football and posing their will against the defense that looks tired. Of course, they had to play last week, and, and you're seeing that right now. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. The Pirates have it in scoring position on first and goal. Garcia wants to throw. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. The run up the middle, looking for the score. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. If they can pay off this third and goal opportunity, man, oh man, those collars start getting a little tight across the way. The option look. Now the toss. And that one will go and reverse the defense all over that pitch on the option. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They'll try to tack on a little extra to this lead with a touchdown here on fourth and goal. Trying play action. They brought the heat and they get him on the ground and a fourth down sack stops this drive cold. Yeah, that's just a play the quarterback can't make. Fourth down, down by the goal line. That ball's got to find its way in the end. Ball with bad things can really happen. You could tell the clock went off and he was throwing that puppy away. They're bringing heat. And they got him. Didn't have much of a chance on that one. And a fitting way to put a capper on this game. business today for this ball club they come out and they get the win and that's all that matters it's not always pretty um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes but at the end of the game jesse you want that w no doubt about it they made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win i thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise good leadership throughout the course of the game defense made stops when they had to make them so right there were some things that are going to need to clean up moving forward but ultimately they were the better team today so that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.